What's up friends, I got a brand new video for you today. And today, like the title of this video says, I'm gonna teach you how to edit in LumaFusion way faster. And it starts with this. Editor Keys just sent me the new Magic Keyboard cover for LumaFusion. And this thing is gonna show you all the shortcuts that you need to know in LumaFusion. It just lays over top of the Magic Keyboard for the iPad. And they make tons of these. They make all different types of apps, Final Cut, Premiere, Resolve, all the different types of keyboard covers for Macs and MacBooks. And they even make them for keyboards and they even make their own keyboards. So they have their own keyboards with all the shortcuts on them. And this is way more helpful than trying to look up what shortcuts do what online. So I'm not gonna talk anymore. We're gonna jump right into LumaFusion. We're gonna go through some of the main shortcuts that you need to know. And I'm gonna chop up a little 30 second montage video that I shot for my friend Marissa. It's just for an Instagram story of her cosplay. And this is some heavy duty footage. We shot this on the A7S III in 4K 10-bit H.265. So you're gonna see how well the iPad handles that. So uh, yeah, let's jump right in. So first things first, we gotta start a new project. I've already started this one. This is 24 frames per second, nine by 16. So I think I wanted to start with this revealing shot. So space bars obviously stop and play. So to mark your in and out points, you can mark your in point with I, and then your out point is obviously with O. So I'm gonna play this till I wanna stop it. So I actually wanna start it about here. So we're gonna make our in point pushing I there. I'm gonna stop it about there. So I'm gonna make my out point, and then we're just gonna click and drop this down into the timeline. And obviously this is really tiny, so you can pinch and zoom with the trackpad, or you can hold command and hit the blue plus sign. That'll also zoom in as well. But pinching and zooming is just as fast. So I actually need to rotate this video clip for some reason it's flipped. So at the top here, you can see our different windows that we can go to. So this is our crop and rotates one, our time remapping two, text three, audio four, and then our picture color and LUTs and stuff like that is in five. So we wanna to go to one here, and that takes us into the area where we can rotate, and as you can see, the clip needs rotated. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here where it says rotation. Okay, that looks good. I'm just gonna play that to make sure that's what I wanted. Yep, and I did shoot this in 60 frames per second because I wanted to slow it down. So we're gonna to go to two, which is our time remapping. And because this is a 24 frames per second timeline and I shot this at 60 frames per second, I wanna go down to 40%. Okay. And then to get back, you hit the little pencil icon here and that takes you back to the timeline. I do have some audio. I actually wanna put some music in here cause that'll actually help us edit to the beat so we know where to make our cuts. So I'm just gonna drop this into the timeline. I'm gonna put this at the start of the project. So when that snare hits, so we're gonna zoom in, command plus. So you want to cut right there, click on that, hit command, hit B, and just hit delete, and it'll remove that last piece. So it's cutting perfectly on that now, and we gotta drop in our next clip. So I'm gonna drag that down to the timeline, and I'm gonna go in and slow that down as well. So I might've been talking a little bit in this shot when I was kind of directing her. So to detach the audio and delete it, you hit option and then hit D and that detaches the audio and then you can just delete it like that. Cool, we're gonna add another clip here and then I'm just gonna quickly edit through the rest and kind of just show you some of the other keys you can use that come in handy. Um, most of the things I'm using are just to speed up the workflow. It's not really anything crazy. It's just these things make editing way faster than trying to get around with your hands on the screen. Command B, delete. So we've got a nice little sequence going here. Nice. Now if you wanted to undo something, it's just like editing on a Mac. So it's Command Z or Command Z, and it'll go back. Okay, so on this shot, I actually wanna zoom in. I wanna do like a slow zoom kind of on the necklace piece that she made. Uh, this was a detail shot. So we're gonna hit one, and then we're gonna keyframe this zoom. So we're gonna hit our keyframe here. I wanna make sure I'm at the very start of the clip. You can just use the arrow keys to move around if you want to. So we're at the start of the clip there, and I'm gonna hit the keyframe button here. And then I'm gonna let this play to the end. And we're gonna want this to zoom in maybe about 5%, so go to 105. 
you can go to the start and the beginning of the clip if you hold shift and you hit this key here. So that's at the start and that's at the end. So we're just going to watch it back here to see the slow zoom. And I don't think the effect is drastic enough. So I'm going to make it go to 115 maybe. That's better. All right. Cool, that's looking pretty good. One thing I love about LumaFusion is being able to change around the panel layout. So for a 16 by nine video, you can do something like this where you see way more of the video while you're editing. It's really cool. Obviously you kind of sacrifice timeline, but I guess if you zoom out, you can see a little bit more. So yeah, let's start dropping some LUTs on this and doing some color grading and see what we got. And we're gonna hit five, takes us to our color panel. And at the top here, we're on our color presets. We're gonna click on this little drop down arrow here and we're gonna go to files. And I already have a LUT saved in here. So I think I called it test LUT. Yeah, that's the LUT there. So we're gonna copy these attributes and then apply them to all the clips. So I'm gonna click down here and it says attributes to clipboard. We're gonna hit copy. So we're gonna go to the next clip here and then go down to the clipboard, hit paste. And that same LUT should be on there now. So now it's actually in the clipboard, you can actually just use the shortcut. So now I can hit Command and V, which is paste, and it'll paste that LUT in there. Next clip. So it's obviously too bright for these shots where she was in the sun. So we're gonna go in here and dial back the exposure. So we're gonna hit five. Go down to our brightness. Turn down just a little, then we gotta go to our highlights and really turn the highlights down. And the nice thing is since we're working with 10-bit footage, we have quite a bit of room here. We can play with the LUT and uh, we have quite a bit of dynamic range here. So I can pull down these highlights quite a bit. So there's obviously other things on this keyboard. If you wanted to make markers, you could hit M and you could add a marker in here. Say you wanna do something like uh, zoom in to remind yourself that that's where you want to zoom in to be. So down here you can see where the markers are and you can turn those off just by clicking on them. Anyway, that's it for this video. As you can tell, it does speed up your editing a lot more when you have the shortcuts at your fingertips. Eventually, you probably will learn what they are out of memory, but it's nice to visually see them. Um, they're only about 50 bucks each and they make them for like every single app pretty much, keyboard size, laptops. They make their own keyboards as I mentioned before. So I'll put links in the description where to find this stuff. Thanks Editor Keys for letting me check this out. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give it a thumbs down twice. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. See you guys in the next one. This keyboard changes things a lot. I don't know why I'm doing this. It's like cut, we're cutting things. Using these keyboard covers, I should redo the entire thing. Work with the pen, sole, because it's not a pen, it's a pencil. And this is for the Magic Keyboard. If I didn't already say that, I probably already said it. MacBook Pros, MacBook Air. I don't know if they make them for other things. Faster, <laughs> just dropped it. So Photoshop, DaVinci. <laughs>